Yep. I'm starting you. L, uh, not an LP, but a playthrough. But I'm still playing Infection still, and I'm going to finish that. My name is Milo Petson, but you probably know me under my pen name Jill Otain. I don't know. I know it's stupid, right? Yes, pretty much. If you're reading this, I guess that means I didn't make it. But on the upside, it means the book got published. Clearly, this is my last novel. Don't cry for me. It's better this way. I don't know. Can I move? Uh, oh. Creepiest. I walked by myself in a strange yet familiar place. Oh. There was a computer on the table. I knew it was mine. It was uh, my traveling typewriter. The whole thing was outdated and dusty, but the word processor uh, still worked. But this room, I'd never seen it before, or so I thought. I smiled a little, finally. I muttered. Something mysterious to put in my latest novel. Move the keys around. Okay, I think I already know this. Shift to run. Okay, now we know. We are to be running from something. Okay, X. Oh. That's a loud volume. Skills? Yeah, you worthless piece of... Um, <laughs> that's good status. Some letters from fans. Fans of my books. Fans who won't let me rest until blah, blah, I've written another to their liking. Whatever. Not the most. I remember that's why I left to take a vacation. I think that's a vacation to a place where no one would know where to find me. Looks like I hit too well, even I don't know where I am. This is a mixture of different genres. I suspected them closer. I noticed that there were books I had written. How strange, I reached out to read one, the first man to fall. Okay, book six. He stood motionless, the gun aimed directly at her heart as she did the same. So he couldn't pull the trigger, he'd done it a literal thousand times, but this time it was impossible. Escape from that stuff, the prisoner silently gestured toward the guard. Seymour understood quickly and grabbed the key from the sleeping patrol's men's man's belt. There was a creep. Okay. That's an item, right? An item. Okay. Alright. Uh, the guild hit him with like a tsunami. He deserved it. Everything that had happened, he deserved it. Whatever. Okay, don't care, don't care. I think the computer is where you save. Let's save on file one. That's our face right there. Alright, let's go at. Oh. Pretty good piano playing. And my FPS is slowing my ass down. Use the key. The key broke. And why did the key broke? I don't know. But hey, at least the doors will stay open. Yo, well. And my FPS got slower. I don't know. Alright. Uh, Hopefully this isn't too much of a problem. Hey, you. Oh, Mr. OT. Shouldn't be here. Just yeah. How are your injuries? I don't know. Um, yeah, thanks, but I'm alright. Thank goodness, the FPS is just fucking horrible. Uh, please stop. Please. Please stop. Oh, no. Uh, my F FPS is horrible. Thank goodness, I'm sorry. Alright. Maybe you could fill me in on a few, on a few things. Miss, where am I exactly? Really? Goodness. I'm sorry, you finished your novel. You read something before you went back to the sea. Oh, so you finished it and you went on a vacation to feature in the first novel. You heard of my home with its vacant rooms and made an appointment. Yeah, I kind of remember that. I spoke with you on the phone. Your name is, um, Veronica. Ooh. What is this place, Veronica? You're not here at all alone, are you? Unfortunately, yes, after my grandparents passed away. The job of take care of us left out, uh, but there's nothing to worry, can't anything. So you can leave it. Well, okay, thanks. Okay, uh, and now we know she's friendly. What's in here? It's slightly heavy barrel. I can move this easily and if needed, block a door with it. Place a barrel and press the spacebar or Z 
but push it in the direction you are facing. If you get stuck, then leave the room, dragon. You know the logic. All right, all right. I know that's a thing. It's too dark. Can't see anything. They could have lit the game a little bit. What's this? There was a mixture. Oh, okay. Just trying to fall. Uh, I think I've already. Oh, book for the rampage through the crowded restaurant. No table or waiter could slow them down. He hadn't seen the face of the man who ruined the operation, but he was damn sure that he would kill him. What the chef? Escape from downtown. Seymour looked about the room. It was full of boxes and barrels. The boxes were too heavy, but the barrels could be moved into the other side. It's okay. I think books are heavy. Oh. What? Oh shit. Oh man. Ah, uh, where are we supposed to hide? No. Pass it. Oh no. Uh. Where can I hide? No! Oh, can I hide here? What is this? Oh, what? Oh no! Oh. So they got stalked! I, I ignored the rotting smell. Smell comes from the dog's house and tries not to look but I think I need to go to the airway and not here. Ah, uh, the arrow is pointing to towards here. Come on! Ah, uh, no! Oh shit, I don't know where to go. It's too damn dark, I can't see. Oh no, fuck. My flesh boil, my flesh boil and peel from my face as I look upon the terrible mess known as the Dutch. My vision blackened, my senses became numb and cold, and a terror came on my head. My flesh boiled and peel from my face as I look upon the terrible mess known as the Dutch. My vision blackened, my senses became numb and cold. What? What am I supposed to do there? Damn it. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do this the other time. We need to finish the infection. So, I guess the antagonist of this game is the judge, the so called judge. So, I'm gonna continue this in the later episode.